our uh, new topic uh, today is about the uh, using uh, switches uh, for uh, PID application in K portal uh, we use switches in Sematic uh, uh, HMI to um, create a uh, control um, strategy with uh, PID controller uh, we use uh, switches to uh, control uh, reset um, binary signal for PID controller uh, we use switches to uh, control the manual automatic mode and uh, uh, three uh, main important uh, uh, parameters, uh, binary parameters in the PID controller that is uh, P selection, I selection, and D selection. Uh, it's not uh, recommended to um, change uh, each of these uh, uh, selectors. Uh, PID selectors while uh, the system in uh, automatic mode and if your system is in manual um, it's advisable to to do so to put the system in the manual we just enable the manual manual mode is enabled here you can see that uh, it's on uh, now it's possible for you to uh, select or deselect any uh, modes P, I, or D. For most of the uh, applications, industrial applications, at least we have P, I. Uh, the D selection should um, uh, is off in uh, most of the industrial application. But if the process, uh, if your process is sluggish, it's uh, slow. The time constant is uh, higher than normal. You need the D for a startup, and uh, you can start uh, the machine or plant with the uh, PID. And in normal operation, you can disable that and change the parameters. Uh, but for now, let me function test the uh, PID controller. Uh, in PID mode and uh, let me change the set point to 78 and uh, the set point is the red line and the process value is the black line we are reaching the set point and the blue line <laughs> the blue line is the action on control valve it's uh, uh, you know close, the valve is closing because we are getting to the set value so it's a very simple um, HMI application uh, the main purpose of uh, this task is only to um, explore the um, functionality of uh, these buttons these switches here uh, you can select them you can use them in your in your application it's very easy it's very easy, easy to use and uh, it's uh, beneficial uh, for if you are, you have many PID controllers in your uh, user program. I highly uh, recommend to uh, encapsulate all of this complexity in a uh, faceplate, and uh, and if you are, you have many PIDs in. And you plant your uh, you need to upgrade to, to a more uh, complex uh, HMI possibly you need to work on uh, semantic BCC or if you have more PIDs uh, it's a complex plant and you need to work on uh, PCS7 or any other DCS platform that it, uh, that they have their own face place for PID uh, about the program, the program is very simple. We have uh, the ordinary PID block and some um, parameters. Uh, this is the uh, reset 
signal the reset signal is linked to the the to the HMI the reset signal is linked to to this button the manual activation is linked to manual button here and selectors are linked to the um, let me find P cell, I cell and B cell they are uh, linked to these variables and uh, uh, these are the P, I and D parameters mm, I just uh, uh, I use the uh, real variables here for gain uh, the gain in uh, the, the block the PID block gain in the PID block is a uh, floating point uh, it's okay it's not yeah, there is no problem for changing uh, let me open the OB bond uh, the gain is uh, in uh, floating point format. It's only possible to just uh, make a copy, but for uh, integration time, uh, the integration time in HMI is in the real format, and uh, the the reading time is also in uh, real format. And I need to change them to the time format because the PID block just uh, accept the uh, time format the other point is that the uh, I just changed the set point from uh, this slider and I uh, fed the uh, I fed the integer variable and uh, then I changed the slider uh, I'm uh, receiving an integer variable in a uh, in the PLC and uh, simply I need to change that to floating point and feed it to the uh, PID block uh, it, that's, it's a very simple this is the very simple uh, um, trend and uh, for this trend you need uh, to provide the data it's, it's a simple online uh, trend and uh, it's available from control you can drag and drop and uh, you need just uh, enter in section just uh, provide the source of data and the, mm, this uh, cyclic uh, you know, accusation of data and uh, reading the information from the pills uh, it's very simple uh, PID application with the switches. Uh, I will add another switch. Uh, the main uh, topic of this uh, mm, video is uh, about how to insert switches. I'm inserting a new switch from here. Uh, let me add a new variable in PLC tag, new binary variable. variable. The variable it should be m10.0 and this variable is a test variable and I will add that uh, to the watch table the name is test and this variable is added. I need to link this variable to um, to the switch. Right click, select properties, and in label you can change the uh, change the title. You have the chance to uh, rename the on and off uh, status text, and uh, yeah, we can keep the uh, default value here uh, it's also possible to uh, uh, give it um, give the uh, tag address to that uh, with save and uh, we go online for function testing this uh, simple um, 
button here. Uh, when we oh, we, uh, we we have a chance to uh, to function test this uh, button here. Mm, I go to watch table, go online here. And this variable is false. I uh, want to function test this uh, uh, switch when we uh, put the switch in on mode. Uh, it will be true. And when we uh, toggle the, the switch, it's, it's uh, getting false. Again, we have a true. Uh, we have a false, true, false. It's a very uh, simple uh, gadget. In the semantic HMI, it's very beneficial for uh, for binary signals. When you need binary signals, uh, yeah, it's a very beneficial. You can change the on and off text. Let me do that here in properties. Uh, we can change the on and off text here. When, when it's on, we can say hi on. And in off, we can say hi off. Or any text, text, any other text you want. Let me go online again. And now it's hi off. We go to hi on. Let's see the variable. The watch table, it's true now. Uh, it's off again true false and very easy uh, I just want to explain some other uh, points here regarding the PID application as I mentioned uh, changing uh, the PID parameters uh, or switches these uh, switches uh, changing these switches when the uh, controller is in automatic mode is uh, not recommended but uh, somebody may uh, may do that uh, by mistake and uh, we can function test that now uh, we turn off the integrator part you can see that the uh, we, we're, we're losing the um, huge amount of information, uh, huge, huge value from the action of the control valve. We turn it on again. And we function test again. And uh, now let me turn it off. You can see that uh, we, we're, we're losing a huge amount of uh, uh, huge amount of value from uh, the uh, the element. The control valve is closing dramatically. It's uh, it's very risky to do that uh, when the controller is in uh, automatic mode. Uh, you can uh, when you are uh, in uh, when you are in the uh, steady state or in your when you are in a startup you can change any uh, selection you you want if you want PID you can do that in manual mode and uh, uh, be careful of changing these variables when uh, the controller is in automatic mode or it's uh, in uh, in operation it's very dangerous for the process so be careful uh, I think uh, mm, that's the whole uh, basic operation of this uh, project and you can do that simply uh, in your uh, your Tier portal application and if you have any question please uh, share your questions regarding to this project and i hope it's uh, helpful and please subscribe to our youtube channel